Opacity can make widgets more interesting, so instead of having plain images for example, we can apply to them opacity and then we can put a title above this image. We start here with this application where we have some cards and here one card is built in this method and here we have actually the image. And now you simply can wrap this image inside of an opacity widget and inside of this widget we have the opacity field and here you set a value between 0 and 1. So 50% opacity we have right now. And if I hot reload you see that we have applied the opacity and you can also play around with these values. So if you put your higher value inside you see more of the image and if you set here lower image inside you see less of the image. As our background color of the scaffold we have here the white color, so our opacity applies here to the white color. However, you can also change it. Therefore, simply wrap a container around the opacity widget and here you can put the color attribute inside and set some color which you like. So for example black and then it looks like this, so the opacity applies to the color of black. And you can also change it here to different colors, so for example blue or orange. And then we have every time the opacity applied to this color. And then you can again play here with these values to change the opacity level. Now we want to look at an animated opacity example. So every time if we press on this image then it should animate like this. And also if we click on other images. And by the way you can get the source code with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient Flutter developer. To make our widget animated we simply exchange the opacity with an animated opacity and then we need to set here a duration property inside and then you can tell here how long this animation should take. So right now 500 milliseconds. And now we want to listen if we click on one of these images, so we add here a gesture detector. And every time if we tapped on one of these images we set that it is tapped to true. And otherwise if we go away with our fingers from this image we go here to is tapped false. And let's also quickly create this method set tapped. So we have here our card item, so this is an item with the title, the URL image, the color which we later apply here to this image and also if this image is tapped. And now we simply override the items which we have here at the top. So we have here stored all the items which are sh shown here inside of this grid view. And let's update them, so I call here this items and the items list we will update so every time if this item is equals to the other item then we want to actually put this new tapped inside of our model object and otherwise if it's not the same we keep the current item. And now within our build card we can access this item is tapped and if it is tapped we set the opacity to 1 which means that our image is full visible and otherwise if we don't tap the image like it is right now then we set the opacity to 50%. And now if I click here on one of these images you see it is changing the opacity and I can also go here away with my fingers then it is going here again to the normal state. To make this example more interesting we add here also a stack around our item and now we can place here a text also inside. So we add here this item.title text which I have also stored here at the top. So we have here for every card item a title. And now every time if we didn't tap on the item we want to have here this text showing. And we also want to center the text so I wrap here also center around and now we have it here in the center. And now every time if I tap on this item the title will go away again. And to make it also more interesting we can also change here every time a different color for each item. So I put here the item.color inside because I have set here also for every item a specific color and it's every time different. And now that we have set here this item color inside I can hot reload and you see directly we have here a totally different effect. So it is looking much more interesting and we have here for every image a different color and everything works here fine. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!